tree. This tree is called rainbow eucalyptus. Now, the more rain we have, the more colorful the bark of this tree becomes. Take a look. Yeah. Rainbow yeah. eucalyptus. This one. What is that? Rainbow? rainbow? Yeah. Now, if this tree is harvest, you know what they use it for. They use it to make the glossy paper in your magazines. Ah. Or maybe the cover of National Geographic. Okay. Rainbow so, eucalyptus. Yeah. Rainbow yeah. eucalyptus. And at the end of our tour, you are going to see the most beautiful four great big rainbow eucalyptus trees. Remember Kalua Kai Meadow where, the, where they have the weddings and everything? Maybe you're wondering, how do we get down there? Because it's way down there, right? So here's what they did. They built a one-lane road. Oh, take a look right now. There's somebody on the road, so the light is red. It's a one-lane road. There's nowhere to pass, uh, so you cannot. Now, I could take you down there when the light is green. Okay. However, I if I them. took you down there, we would have to stay there because this cart will not make it up that hill. No, no, no. But they have wedding carts. And so they had to put in a light, red and green, so that we would know somebody was on the road. And guess what? You're staying in Princeville, so I want you to know, take a good look at that light, because it is the only stoplight in Princeville. <laughs> we don't have another one. <laughs> so you're seeing it now, the only stoplight in Princeville. There you go. Oh, my God. That's great. It is funny. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Amid's in the garden. Huh? Yeah, here it is. Yeah, that's it. Now, as we come into this circle, the bush that you see on the right, that beautiful bush, that's a cycad or sago palm. Now, that bush is the oldest bush in the garden, and it was here with the dinosaurs. Can you imagine how wow. old that is? Now, Joyce just recently bought this new sculpture on the left. She wanted to have a sculpture of a little girl, a boy, playing the ukulele. So that's what he's doing. And then she had the little girl dancing. And then she thought that they should have an audience. So she had two little animals made <laughs> watching them dance. It's a very pretty, yeah, very pretty, yeah. Now, sometimes Joyce moves sculptures, you know. Sometimes you see a sculpture was here, oh, it's not here anymore. And she finds it, maybe thinks of a better place for it. But as we come around the corner, you see, the horticulturalist told me there are so many different palm trees in the world that she even doesn't know the name of all of them. The name of this one right here that has the different kind of This is a bottleneck palm. Huh? Bottleneck. Now, you know what those kukui nuts are, those big brown nuts, right? Nuts. Yeah. And so, the kukui nut tree, this is where the sculpture used to hang, but I, like I said, she changed it, and I'll show you where it is now when I do it. But the kukui nut tree is the state tree of all of Hawaii. Mm -hmm. So, the kukui nut. The word kukui in Hawaiian means light. Kui, right. Kui, kui. light. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, the ancient Hawaiians, this is the state tree of Hawaii, and the ancient Hawaiians used to take the kukui nut and break it in half, and inside that nut was an oil, and they used to use that oil to light their torches, uh -huh. to guide their canoes. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. So this is the... Like our palm oil. Yeah, from the uh -huh. oil, right. Uh -huh. Now, as we go over this bridge, you might think you've seen a lot of rain lately, but we need rain very, very badly, uh -huh. because this is what, this is supposed to be a brook. There's no water in it. Wow. You'll see. We need uh -huh. rain. Oh, yeah. We're very uh -huh. desperate for rain. This was uh -huh. a very dry winter in Kauai. Dry, uh -huh. Yeah, very Always dry. Always raining. So, let's go over it. And Almost as we go over this raining, little bridge, still dry. If you, now, this tree that we have here, this is a very exciting tree. It has a fruit on it that when it starts to bloom, it's green, and then the fruit turns white. This and one? Right here. Uh, yeah, right here. This one? Yeah. Now, uh, did any of you ever hear of noni? 
Noni, yeah. Okay, this is a noni tree, the noni tree. Uh, okay, and I don't see a fruit right now, but recently we had fruit. It'll bloom again. Now, the ancient Hawaiians would take that noni because you know that people say that noni is very high in antioxidant, mm. right? So these Hawaiians would take that fruit and they would eat it. Mm. And they said it wadded off a lot of diseases. Oh. But let me tell you, I don't know how they ate it. If you ever smelt noni. Yeah, very bad. Oh, horrible. Eh, yeah. Oh, terrible. Horrible than yeah, aloe terrible. vera. But now, today, we don't have to worry about that because they take the fruit from the noni tree and they make it in pill form. They make it in liquid form. And you can buy it in pharmacies. You can buy it in farmer's markets. And I'm going to tell you two stories about noni that happened on my tour. One, I had a lady, she was 95 years old, and she told me, you know, Jackie, I do not stop my day without taking noni. Oh. Yeah. And the other lady came to Kauai, hurt her knee, and a friend said, oh, go buy some noni. And she went and bought noni, and you know, the next day her leg was better. Oh. Yeah. Well, you no, need noni. noni. Yeah. Uh, the lotion, we had the lotion. Lotion yeah. noni, yeah. Now, you see the leaves of the noni tree. You know what the ancient Hawaiians would do with those leaves? They would soak them, and then, like, say you had a bad knee or a bad shoulder, they would put that leaf over there, and they said it would pull all the pain from it. Mm -hmm. it you know, what they were thinking, like today we have lidocaine patches or things like that, but that's what they believed. So this noni is very, very healthy, they say. Mm -hmm. Very, mm -hmm. yeah. So, now we're going to come to the next sculpture. I'm going to start up that hill, and I'll stop so you can get a good look at it. Mm -hmm. The sculpture is called The Rescue, and it's the children that are trying to rescue the little kitty cat that went out on the limb. Oh. Now, this sculpture is one of a kind. It is the only one of its kind, and Joyce commissioned Glenna Goodacre is the sculptor that did this. Now, Glenna Goodacre is very famous because... She is the lady. You remember one year we had a coin called Sacagawea? Remember that coin? She designed that coin. Oh. She also designed the Woman's Veteran Memorial. Oh. Now, she died a few years ago. But let me oh. tell you that the other claim to fame for Glenna Goodacre is her. She was the mother-in-law of Harry Carnick Jr., the singer. So mm -hmm. her daughter is married to Harry Connick Jr. Mm -hmm. Now, when she was commissioned to do this sculpture, she said, I'll be happy to do the sculpture, but I do not do animals. So uh. they had to get a gentleman by the name of Dan Oster Miller, and he did the little kitty. Now, you know, if she can sculpture, where do you see the sculpture? I think she could do animals. I think she didn't want to do animals. <laughs> Anyhow, Dan Aston Miller did the little kitty. <laughs>